T2E2. How's everyone doing? Good. Yeah. All right. OK, so we are here, um, and we're going to do a segment called My Favorite Nerd Effect. Uh, and I have a panel of amazing folks here. So we've got Travis McElroy, who is the, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Uh, you know him from My Brother, My Brother and Me and Venture Zone. Um, way too many things. Way too many things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sarah Richard, who's a cover artist for yes. My Little Pony, Bob's Burgers, and Hello. lots more stuff. Hello. Yeah. And Jerry Duggan, who is the writer of, I don't know if you've ever heard of, um, like, Deadpool. Uh, I don't know if anyone, yeah, uh, Nova and tons more stuff. I, I centrally dip words into Deadpool's mouth to <laughs> regurgitate <laughs> out into the universe. Awesome. Um, so we're going to just talk a little bit about nerd effects. Uh, and nerd effects are exactly what they sound like, um, artifacts for yeah. nerds. <laughs> um, so what, like, what are some of the nerd effects that you guys, we have a couple here, but are you guys like big collectors? Is there anything that you kind of remember buying and being like, oh, I'm obsessed with collectibles? I had far too many pogs. Oh. <laughs> like, past the point of a reasonable amount. Like, how many pogs do you need at any given time, Travis? I don't know, but it was a lot. The answer is all it. of them. They, so many of those. They're like a paper Bitcoin now. Yeah, yeah, to the point where they got outlawed at my elementary school. Oh, me too. Because we were, like, gambling with them, yeah. and people were getting upset that you were taking each other's pogs. So they got outlawed, and we had to play them in the back alleys. Well, we had oh. we had a problem throwing metal slammers at each other. So it was yeah, actually a... Too. That's a real problem. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. feels real. I had a nice, like, unicorn holographic one that you really had to check at somebody. And I, I had a really people. nice Wolverine one that <laughs> oh. was, like, that that thick and like metal and it was you could do some damage with it you, <laughs> you could chip concrete <laughs> with it yeah I, I was into legos as a kid and now i have a son and so it, well, legos are back and i'm buying him legos him legos <laughs> and he's like really i don't like this and i'm like we're gonna have a blast building no, this. you love it you love you'll the find the love in it yeah of course okay well everybody brought some stuff yeah. here we're gonna talk about some some specific nerd effects uh jerry so you've got street sharks over here how could you not love street sharks it looks like they uh you know they they shot up some uh some, some sort of growth hormone i mean they're ri oh yeah wait i don't want to mess up the beauty shot also oh, yeah. hi everybody i'm a street shark also the sh the guitar is also a shark it's a free shark with your with your yeah. street shark and Amazing. as a fan of Jaws, uh, really sincerely, this this feels like the the nerdy way to follow that up of going the the, the sharks have now grown up rough on the street, and they're this guy's ready to fight. This guy's ready to make some it's money and rock. love. It's yeah. one of my. I think it probably came out of Ninja Turtles, right? Where they're like, okay, yeah. so like humanized turtles, everyone loves. What other animals? Can we turn into super jacked humans? And you got battle toads, you got cowboys of yeah, Mesa, yeah. you got biker mice from Mars, and you got street shark, yeah. and they're all just like bigger and bigger yeah. every time. Yep. Well, I yeah. want to throw what in too, kid like, doesn't want to be a jacked shark? I know. Well, they even made like trolls jacked for a bit. I don't know if anybody yeah. remembers the like gnarly Dragon Ball Z trolls they had for a little while. <laughs> I, that was pretty crazy. I dream of it. So, now, yeah. Sarah, you've got. Uh, is there, this is my childhood right here. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, just really quickly before I move on, uh, we also found in our archives um, an insane clip that involves street sharks. <gasps> so maybe let's, oh, right. let's take a look at it. We can watch it. Oh my. Now, I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah, Are I think serious? I do recognize that gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Too that fast, is, too furious oh my God, sharks. Humble beginnings. That yeah. is Vin Diesel. Wait, is that a troll? That's just where you're, uh, I think there's the. Yeah, it is the world's biggest <laughs> oh, street Diesel. shark fan, Vin Diesel. Um, also, his necklace what? appears to be a chipped tooth shark. <laughs> yeah. Shark now, tooth. Now, here's the Something. thing, though. If we're all being honest, I think Vin Diesel would still make that commercial today. I don't think that's like an <laughs> yeah. embarrassing thing. No, he thing. would not be embarrassed yeah. by that. I think he would be like, all. oh, yeah, street sharks? Totally. He'd just be getting paid a lot more money to well, do yeah, it. Well, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. And probably higher production quality. Yeah, yeah the, the shark would be on the top of a car yeah. Uh, yeah. at 80 miles an hour. That I would, would be it. I would watch that movie. Yeah. Oh, I, where is the Vin Diesel Street Sharks movie? I Come on. There's got to be some professionals here who can make that happen. Change.org. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's the next one. Start it. <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> so we'll move on. Sarah, interrupted Sarah, you. Oh, no. Oh, no with these dolls because we were freaking out about <laughs> them backstage. I know, we had like a awesome. trip down memory lane back yeah. there. All right, so these, um, these are some gem dolls from my childhood. So we got and Aja. Is one, of, is one of them a holo or a, a, oh. Like a cyborg? Oh, oh, child. Sorry. Let me tell you about this. All right. So we got Aja Stormer and then Mattel's version of Gem called Spectra and the Shimmer Shimmerons. So this is Spectra. So um, it's very similar, except still tinier. But they're made out of metal. So she was my absolute favorite, favorite doll when I was a kid. But um, This doll's vacant stare is really bothering me. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that doll look is at not TV interested in being here. And know that that's going straight to your soul right now. Ah! <laughs> we were also that's why we're best friends. Yeah, the, uh, the very realistic yeah. toes. So she's, got, she's got some toes going on. The toes have definition, yeah. which is so weird to me that someone was like, you know what will make this more realistic? Yeah. Defined <laughs> toes. Toes. Exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a whole different market. <laughs> it's exactly. a whole different thing. These, yeah. things, uh, these things shaped my childhood. Um, it's, it's uh, yeah, so got some gem. Do um, we have a gem cosplayer out there? Is there? Oh, I thought you we were pointing at oh, one. Oh, man. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God, there is. I got a wave is. in the back. I can't really see, but. My doll became real. <laughs> I believe it. What? Huh? Okay. What? Now, Travis. Yes. Okay, so we weren't, you, your nerd effect was the. I picked a really hard to find nerd effect. Yeah. Because I am a pain. Oh, uh, that's not, that's simply not true. It's a great nerd effect, but it was the Ewok playset. We have a still of it, I think, that we could take a look at. Uh, that's low we gray. This guy. Yeah, that yeah. is low gray. I wanted to make sure no one yeah. called him uh, Wicket. Yeah. No. So this was the uh, Ewok playset. The Ewok Village playset rules. Yeah. Rule is the best Christmas present I've ever gotten. And we were trying to figure this out backstage because I'd never put it together until today. It came out in 1983, which was also the year I was born. So two theories. One, my dad just found one many years later at a convention. Or my dad bought it in 1983 for himself and then re-gifted it to me That's later. Good. And I lean towards that. <gasps> it's oh, here. We got one. Oh, it's here. Oh, get this crap out of the way. What? No. Look at it. You ask a lady. Look through all the. Oh, this rules. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so happy that right is, now. And by the, the way, let me, it okay. actually has the net too. <laughs> yes. That's, Here's that's why it rules, find. right? So the, not only is it fun because you can like, oh, I'm, I'm please don't eat me. Um, but you can also, there's like traps in it and like the elevator. I'm gonna be so oh, gentle here. That's insane. This, what? This elevator. Check out this. The box still has what looks like wrapping paper on it. Guys, a lot of Ewoks got what? killed in this village. Oh, Let's yeah. face it. Over yeah, we have the working elevator here. Amazing. And then you could do like uh, the trap with the net down the middle to catch people. And, and what was really great is it was scaled to such a height that it works great for Ewoks. Right, but it also, you could get your G.I. Joes in there and have like a weird crossover. Yeah. Um, Probably get like some I, sweet Jurassic Park dinosaurs in. going on in here too. It, it also has uh, uh, C-3PO's throne. Yeah. Of course, C-3PO was, was so the lord many... of all the Ewoks. Also, it, you is... can also recreate the great scene of them attempting to sacrifice Han and, yeah. and Chewie to C-3PO. And if you want to write a different version where they go through with it, that's up to you. You can do that at home if you're a weird little kid, like I was, and you just want to see how that played out. It's just future Don't. fan fiction material. Yeah, right? That's all it is. Yeah. It's so is this <laughs> where some of your first stories were written? Was yeah, that? like, yeah. here's the thing. The same Christmas, we got the Ewok Village playset and uh, the Castle Grayskull playset. And so there was also lots of He-Man, Ewok crossover, um, Beast, uh, Beast Man, yeah, Animal Man, got along really well with the Ewoks. That went really well. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted right now it's by how much I love this. I'm distracted by whoever set this up backstage has this stormtrooper trooper who's like chilling real yeah. hard. You know well, what, he, he's, hey, he's what's hot, up? He's off like, the clock stormtrooper. Like, yeah. It's what's a job up? well he's done for that uh, scout trooper. You don't yeah. see the, any uh, Ewoks littering. Yeah, right? He's took care like, of oh. yeah, He just had a change of it's heart. Just, it's so per Here's why it was off ideal. Because it had all kinds of nooks and crannies, which is like ideal for a kid who's like playing and you could like uh, secret passageways oh, down through and like traps and stuff, which oh, just makes me so happy. So good. So good. And you could like hide food in there. Not don't, but you could. You could how, throw some snacks in there, how, yeah. How disappointed was Chewbacca that the Ewoks didn't choose him as their guy? Right? 
so mad. He's like, I'm a giant Ewok. I'm yeah. basically you, with but big. I'm obviously your leader. Yeah. What's and the problem? That's a whole, it, it, it reframes all of Return of the Jedi as, as a disappointment for Chewie. I also really like that even in a toy, they put a safety railing around it. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Be careful, still good safety practices, even for giant got teddy bear people. Han here in this coat that I, me, I, I'm a rebel, but be safe. Yeah. <laughs> don't fall off the edge. Officer, don't get a chill. Wear your coat. Wear your coat. Wear your coat. Hey, stay safe out there. That's don't, right. don't eat any unpackaged yeah. candy. Don't turn your back to an Ewok either. Right. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is there stuff that you guys still like walking on the con floor as an adult that you see and have the same reaction oh, man. to this stuff? You're like, oh my God. Like When I see the like, um, like vintage Star Wars with like two points of articulation, yes. that was making me really happy. My dad had an like in the box um, Luke Skywalker from like the first round of toys that my dog chewed the head off of. No. Oh. Buttercup? Yeah, no, before Buttercup. Okay, okay, Nessie. Okay. My, lock, uh, my Scottish Terrier, she chewed the head right off that Luke Skywalker. A lot of those, but the one okay. I have realized my new white whale, and this is from childhood to now, was I had the Megazord, and then I got the Dragon Zord from the, the Green Ranger that was supposed to fit over it, but I had the wrong Megazord, and I could never get the configuration right. That if it, and that's my dream now. Oh man! Someday as an adult, and I will be so satisfied, and my child will not understand why I am so happy. <laughs> but that's now. It's that's now my goal. Oh it, good. This matters, honey. It's, it doesn't matter that your daddy's crying. Don't worry about Don't it. Don't worry about it. All right, well, you guys, we have we have to wrap it up, but we do have swag, um, Jerry and Sarah, for you guys because we did get Travis uh, uh, this. Amazing play set. Well, I, I assume I don't. It. Do I get to keep it? I don't know. You know what? Yeah, why not? I'll okay. give that away. It's the crossover you didn't it's know you right? wanted. Uh, Somewhere uh, someone's crying backstage, like, yeah, but that's from my house. No, no, we bought <laughs> oh, it. So, awesome. and here we got stuff for you guys. Thank you. And hey, guys, no. share your favorite childhood nerd fact I'm using perfect. hashtag it's a fan perfect thing, hashtag C2E2. Let us know what you're <laughs> geeking out over and stay here because up next we've got RL R. L. Stein talking what? goosebumps. Uh, so stick. Oh, up man, around. I'm hiding behind here. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs>